The city's independent electoral commission says it's ready to deliver credible elections. The IEC has delivered its uh, readiness statement ahead of the June 3 polls. 1.2 million voters, 60% of them aged between 18 and 39, will be casting their ballots at nearly 3,000 uh, voting stations around the country. After 90 days of preparations, the IEC is a beat, quoting Frank Sinatra. But through it all, when there was doubt, I ate it up and spat it out. I faced it all and I stood tall and did it my way. Voting material has been delivered to areas which are hard to access. Urban areas will receive theirs between now and Saturday. Snow is not expected on voting day, but the IEC is prepared for any eventuality. We as the Commission are satisfied that we have prepared the holding of these elections in a transparent and all-inclusive manner and are ready to deliver credible elections. Social media has played an important role as a source of information throughout the preparations for these elections, both as a source of formal and informal information, but it didn't go without its challenges. Just a week ago, a message was sent around saying that the election dates had been extended, certain parties would vote on one day and other parties on another day. But the IEC went out swiftly responding and saying that those messages were not true. But just this morning, fresh allegations that the leader of the opposition went to see the chairperson of the IEC in the middle of the night. The chairperson was not impressed. It's a lie. It is illegal to defame people in that manner, especially someone of my caliber. It is disgusting. More than 700,000 of the 1.2 million registered voters are between 18 and 39 years old. The IEC is hoping that voter turnout will go up from the 46% it saw in 2015 to 85% and wishes Lesotho a peaceful day on the 3rd of June. Ntakwana Ngadani, SABC News, Maseru, Lesotho.